What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back for Polish Pickup May. This is the month of the throwback to the 1980s. I have several makers to show you guys today and their contribution for this totally rad theme. So first up, we have Baroness X. This is Plasma Globe. Official description is a deep and dark base that has multi-chrome magnetic pigment, shifting through blue, purple, pink, copper, and greenish gold with floating iridescent flakies, shifting from pink to copper to gold to green, and a sprinkling of hot pink hollow shard micro glitter. This one is based off of plasma globes, and the price is $11.50, and there will be no cap on it. So the formula on this one feels medium to on the jelly side to me. It does build up very quickly. For full opacity, I'm going to say between two and three coats. The pink micro glitter here looks amazing. It really steals the show. So in person, you'll definitely get a very vampy dark base. And then when you apply the magnet, you'll get a super shifty magnetic stripe going on here um, or in any pattern that you uh, have your magnet in. So it is very reactive in my opinion to the magnet and it stays where you put it. There's a lot of movement on it and the overall look. It does dry down kind of semi-glossy. So I would say any top coat would be just fine with it. And as you can see here on the full hand shot, you're seeing it mostly appear in that very almost navy blue type color, but on angles, you're gonna see it shift in all types of colors, especially um, purple and gold. After top coat, I had no texture whatsoever. And new for this month from Baroness X is her acetone antidote in the scent Captain Crunch Berries. This does come with a super fun scratch and sniff sticker that is in a matching scent. This one will be $4.25 with no cap at all. And per usual, I usually add this to about seven to eight ounces of pure acetone. And it definitely gives me the power of the removal power of acetone without the drying harsh effect. So my cuticles are nice and soft afterwards. Next, we have Cameo Colors Lacquers. This is Princess of Power. Official description is an off-white curly base with a scattered hollow sparkle full of red to magenta to gold shimmer, copper to gold to fuchsia UCC flakes, hot pink silver hollow, and gold micro flakes. This is inspired by Shira. The price will be 11 and there is a 185 US bottle cap and a 15 bottle UK cap. So this one does definitely feel like a curly to me. Um, it builds up between two and three coats in my opinion there's a touch of a jelly like feel on application um, depending on your the the whiteness of your smile line i'm going to say two and three coats two to three coats for full opacity in person this is a very delicate pink it's very um soft in my opinion like a powder pink and it's very very sparkly so lots and lots of flakes to be seen here and a very densely scattered sparkle so here on that third coat, you definitely see the buildup here. Um, I thought it looked just fine at three. Um, I feel like I was going a little bit on the thinner to normal side on my coats. So once again, all the, based on your application preference. But if you do go thin like me, then um, I really don't see the need to go to anything after three coats. So here I went in with a glossy top coat per usual on the full hand shot and I had no, no texture whatsoever. And it really brought out the shimmer here that gives a really glowy luminescent effect. Next is by Danny Vienna. This is Ranger, described as a leaf green crelly filled with golden shimmer, gold metallic flakes and gold UCC flakies and holographic flakies. This is inspired by Hank from the Dungeons and Dragons anime. The price is $11.50 and there is a 100 bottle cap on this one. So this one feels like a super glossy jelly to me, um, but of the very opaque type. So it's got a really nice formula that builds up super fast on the nail and it does dry down semi-glossy. So once again, I think any top coat would be just fine here. And you can see on that second, second coat, there's just beautiful opacity, really quick to build up um, and very smooth and buttery on the formula. The golden flakes in here have a lovely contrast against that very leafy vibrant type of what i would call like a snaky type of green um, i might be weird for that but that's usually what i call that type of green and after top coating i had no texture with this one either so just a really lush green in my opinion next is delush polish this is the luck dragon official description is a blackened multi-chrome magnetic polish that morphs from turquoise to purple and features glowing aurora shimmer accented with captivating gold and ultra chrome chameleon flakies the inspiration for this is the never-ending story and the price is 12.95 that includes a magnet 
and there is a 90 bottle cap and on in the US site and a five bottle cap in the UK site. So the formula on this one feels kind of slightly jelly a little bit. It does apply very, very um, opaque on the nail as well. Um, overall, just a really nice dark vampy type of multi-chrome magnetic. In person, this one does have what I would consider to be those galaxy type of holographic flakes. They give you that kind of like a starry look effect in my opinion. So they're almost like shards in my opinion. Um, definitely very sparkly on the nail. Personally, I would recommend a glossy top coat for this one to really get it to pop as it does dry down just a touch on the satin side. So in person, you'll see a very inky black base in the background and then on the magnetic pigment, you'll easily see that turquoise color that you're seeing here on the video um, in bright lights and then on shift and angles and in shaded lighting, you'll really see a very strong um, purple and turquoise and all the shifty goodness um, at extreme angles. So once again, here on the full hand shot, you are seeing it with a glossy top coat and I was smooth sailing afterwards. Next, we have Emily Damali. This is cute as a button. Official description is a purple that leans almost a light denim blue with iridescent flakes that shift through orange, pink, and green. This is inspired by the My Child doll. There is a cap of 135 bottles on this and it will be 11. So in person, I feel like this is one of those really challenging colors to swatch as it will appear either more of a bluish color, sometimes a lilac color. Um, on the playback here on my video, I do feel like this is color accurate. It's definitely a purple, but it, it's like a lilac type of tone to it. So um, just, it is a bit of a chameleon in my opinion on the base color. Now it is positively loaded with those iridescent flakes and they give a very strong opalescent effect overall. Um, I do give my bottles a good shake before applying and I had no issues picking them up on the brush or as you're seeing here, laying down on my nail. Um, just really, really nice coverage overall. I'm gonna say for full opacity, two coats and you'll be good to go. After top coating with a glossy top coat, which is what you're seeing here on the full hand shot, um, I was, I had no texture whatsoever and just really very strong opalescent effect from those flakes. Next, we've got Indie by Patty Lopez. This is Little Scented Doll. Official description is a pink base with shimmer, shimmering duochrome micro hollow glitters in black and pink and multi-chrome flakies. This is inspired by My Little Pony and the price is 12 and there will be an 88-0 bottle cap on this one. So this definitely feels a bit on the uh, Crelly side to me, in my opinion. Um, it has a very strong buildup to it. For full opacity, I'm gonna say between two and three coats. I do feel like, once again, what you're seeing on the video is um, color accurate. This is a very delicate pink, um, very glowy from the shimmer that I'm seeing here. And it has lots of those very shifty, multi-chrome type flakes in here. Um, if you are curious, in my opinion, I feel like this one um, has a metallic feel, if that makes sense. There's a lot of sparkle here and it has more of a metallic like finish to it. So if you're wondering in comparison to the cameo colors, this one's more of a uh, metallic like feel for this type of color, in my opinion. After top coating with a glossy top coat, I had no texture whatsoever and it was just super, super sparkly overall. Next is Lemming Lacquer. This is the magic of colored lights. Described as a mix of Aurora shimmers in blue to purple, green to gold, gold, orange, pink, and orange to red, and a full rainbow of iridescent flakes in a clear base. Inspired by Light Bright, it will be 13 and there will be a cap of 250 bottles. So I'm showing you guys it over black as I feel like on video it tends to show you guys more of a better idea of all the pigments that are in a topper. And in person, it is very, very strong, even with one coat. There's so much Aurora shimmer here, and the flakes are of a different varying sizes, so you'll get all types of colors from it. Definitely reminiscent of a light bright. And after top coating, I was smooth sailing, so no texture to report here either. Next is Night Owl Lacquer. This is It's a Feeling, a Heartbeat, described as a delicate blush tinted base loaded with two different shades of shif shifting Aurora shimmers that give a glowy look. This is inspired by Dirty Dancing. The price will be $12.50 and there is a 360 bottle cap on this one. 
So the formula on this one feels medium to slightly light, in my opinion. Um, I feel like this one needs to be like this, though, because it does have those Aurora shimmers that give a really strong glowing effect. And here on that first coat, you're seeing it applies very, very easily across the nail. So a really nice, smooth formula overall. For full opacity, I'm going to suggest going in with three thin coats to get that pond effect with the Aurora shimmers, and you'll get a really glowing appearance in the backdrop. So this is another very soft, delicate, almost like a ballet type of pink, in my opinion. And in my swatches and the video, I feel like the shimmer is being very um, subtle in it, unfortunately. So just take my word for it in person. You can definitely see there is a, a glowing effect from it that appears mostly in this uh, very warm, orangey type of feeling to it. So this does dry down semi-glossy. I could definitely see any top coat giving you that, that extra oomph factor with the shimmer. Um, really, really easy. And the self-leveling on it is very forgiving as well. So here, once again, on the full hand shot, you're seeing it with my favorite top coat and it's ultra glossy. And I'm hoping this comes off as you guys seeing the shimmer. Next, we have Polish. This is 88 Count Talk. Official description is a neon aqua with a mix of iridescent pink to copper to green shifting pigment and a mixed iridescent multi-chrome flake. This is inspired by the Lamborghini Countach, which is Shannon's favorite car from the 80s. The price is $12.50 and there is no cap on it. So this is another um, base color, in my opinion, that um, can definitely translate a little on the bluer side or the greener side. I will say I feel like my swatch video is um, accurate to what I'm seeing in person. This is definitely a jelly feel. It builds up very nicely across the nail. And as you're seeing here, it has a very strong shimmer here as well. Um, I had no problems with the flakes here either. Per usual, give my bottles a good shake and I had no problems picking up any of the flakes on the brush or having them lay down nice and flat for me. So um, the formula overall is very... Um, very forgiving, it, it stays where you put it and just an overall easy to use type of jelly. This one does dry down a little bit on the slightly semi-gloss side, so personally I would recommend a glossy top coat for it and you'll really get the pop. So building up between your layers, you're gonna see a nice pond effect between the shimmers and the iridescent flakes. Um, for full opacity, I'm gonna say between two and three coats. If you do go in kind of light to normal on your coats like me, then you'll definitely see that super strong pond effect on that third coat. So here on the full hand shot, I'm wearing my favorite glossy top coat and it's just super, super flattering overall. Next, we have Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is Popples Make Great Pillows, described as a royal blue to colorless thermal, jam packed with neon glitters in a, various, in a variety of shapes and sizes and a little sprinkling of silver holographic micro glitters. This is inspired by Popples and the price will be 10. Now there is a 110 US bottle cap on this one. So as you're seeing here, it does shift and transition very easy. This is crazy, um, very, very sensitive to temperature change. As you're seeing here, it's changing as soon as I put it on my nail. Now for opacity, I'm gonna say between two and three coats with the caveat that the very warm state is a colorless shade. So just note, um, while it may feel like you kind of need to go up to three coats, I would say um, just be mindful of that because I know I do that a lot too on the colorless thermals. So here I would, I dare say, say that there is a mid transition state where it's like a soft blue that you're seeing on my nail bed right now. On my tips is how you'll see the, the very, the cold state. And it's a very strong, like almost like rich, dark cobalt in my opinion. I had no problems picking up those glitters on the brushes either. I give the bottle a good shake before applying and no problems with them either. So they laid down nice and flat for me. I did go in with a glossy top coat because this one does dry down a little bit on the matte side and I had no texture from them either and everything was just smooth sailing. So really, really fl fun, really flattering and side note, I totally had Popple's bed sheets as a kid. So um, definitely felt the feelings with this. And finally, we have Supernatural Lacquer. This is Sight Beyond Sight, described as a black jelly base with teal to purple to red to gold multi-chrome shimmer, small and extra large platinum silver flakes, and multicolored color shifting flakes. This is inspired by Thundercats. The price is $11.50 and there is no cap on it. So this one has a very jelly feel to me. It does build up very, very quickly, especially for a uh, black jelly, in my opinion. 
Um, I do want to note that I feel like this one between my swatches and the video, it's not really giving you that good of an idea of what I'm seeing in person because I think the black is like just kind of overcasting all the pigments here. In person is a very dense sparkle overall and those little multicolored flecks across the nail are more apparent in person. So um, just throwing that out there that I think my swatches, it, my camera kind of freaks out on blacks and especially black polishes that have um, coloring effects to them like like glitters and whatnot. So um, in person, it, there's is just so much going on between the shards and the shimmer and whatnot. The black base does not hide it at all. So here on the full hand shot, you're seeing me wear my favorite glossy top coat and I had no texture with it. Everything laid down nice and flat for me and just a really nice, super fun, um, punky color. That definitely reminds me of Thundercats. So polish pickup the 1980s will open up May the 3rd at 11 a.m. EST and will close at May 6th at midnight EST. I will link you guys below for Polish Pickups website. Um, you can definitely get in there right now and check out their polishes that are up for preview and you can make your wish list. I'll also link you guys below to my blog posts if you would like additional swatches and a more written review as well. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.